Welcome back, everyone. It is Social Media Saturday, and our expert, Amador Guzzi, is here to talk reputation. There's a lot of information about us, not the two of us specifically, <laughs> yes. but everyone out yep. online. Google+, Plus, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, you know, so much to manage with comments and retweets and what's being said. And even now, more so than ever, with a business or even on a personal mm -hmm. level, what are people saying? Is it good? Is it bad? You know, it's not always bad if you want to be able to kind of start a conversation if someone is mentioning you. So there's a few tools that you can use to kind of monitor what is being said without having into being too overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. The first one is called Social Mention and it's a free website. You just put in whatever term you want, even your competitors, see what people are saying about them. Hmm. When you put in like Ask Naomi or Naomi Dorgu, it also give you keywords of what else people are saying when they're mentioning my name. And it'll give you within, you can search by date, you can mm -hmm. search um, by blogs or events or what other people are saying. So it's kind of interesting, it kind of even gives you a score on how hmm. you're doing in social media. Okay, this sounds intimidating. <laughs> Kind of the conclusions might not, I don't know. It's it is, but it's good to know. You know, you kind of want to know what people are saying so you can help monitor it. Again, you know, I did a search for myself and I actually found, again, a blog post by a builder that I worked with a long time ago in Tennessee. And he was saying about how good of the tips that I was giving. So it's kind of nice that I, he didn't tell me he wrote the blog post. Mm -hmm. But when I did a search for myself and I found it, you know, I want to be able to thank him and comment and say, you know, thanks for doing that, that blog post. So it's a good tool to use to see what's being said about you online. And you're right, it is better to know. I say that <laughs> yeah. about the weather. Yeah, yeah. So. Yep, and then another one is called Pin Alerts. If you have a website or a blog, people are using Pinterest to pin photos. Mm -hmm. So if someone is pinning a photo on your website, let's say mm -hmm. you write a blog post, and then it'll give a link back to your website. Well, this um, free tool allows you to know when someone pins something from your website. So then you can go back to Pinterest and get comment, like, thank, share, that they were sharing some um, content from your website. And what is is there any remedy if you stumble across something that isn't true or you just don't like? I haven't yet, so, okay. but it, again, you see a lot of businesses are using it. You got to be able to manage the good and the bad. It's better to know than to not know. And especially, you know, for me, I have more of a unique name. So <laughs> it's kind of easy to find myself versus if you have a more common name, but it's good to know for a business as well what's being said so you can kind of handle those conversations. If they do come in not so good or if they come in good, you want to be able to give a shout out to yourself and thank the person who is uh, posting stuff about you. Yeah, and like you said, you can even get back you know, to your customers if mm -hmm. they did not have a great experience or something like that, right? Exactly, exactly. And then the last one I want to mention is kind of like a Google alert. It's called, you go to google.com slash settings slash me and I'll give you the option to search by your name again and what's being said about you online on, the, on all of Google search terms, including your images. So again, if mm. someone's uh, posting a photo and crediting it back to you, then you want to be able to find those images and what else is being said on Google, not just social media. <laughs> so a new project here for a, a weekend morning. Oh. <laughs> exactly. Great information, as always. You can find her at AskNaoma.com, and we'll be back.